Hey guys, Valeros here. Today I will be showing you how to build a trading post on ARC. Alright guys, so for your trading post, you're going to want some place that is uh, protected from dinos and ichthys and things getting into your trading post and killing the people coming over to your base. Um, this is mainly for PvE servers. I don't know if there is an official PvE in Legacy. I don't know if there's that many trading posts going on or trading that much trading going on on other servers, private servers if you have a popular cluster that might work for you. Very important things that you need is a transmitter or a uh, strider. For those of you who didn't know, you can unlock the transmitter on the back of a strider and players that have not unlocked the transmitter in Grim can use the terminal on the back or transmitter on the back of a strider. They can use that instead. You will have to build up to that. So right here, this is what I normally used in my trading post when I played on official. I had one transmitter in the middle and then I had my dead storage, a vault and a cryo fridge and they were all within reach of the transmitter so if someone was bringing tech structures over to my base to pay for eggs or something like that whatever the case might be buying resources from me paying with tech whatever it was uh, they had access from the transmitter from every single one of these vaults and dead storages if you don't have the resources, if you're a new player and you don't have the resources to build up a bunch of dead storage and stuff like that, you can use storage boxes. So we're going to lay down a ladder here. So we'll start with the cheaper version first. And then I'll show you how to build what I set up over there. So let's get some storage boxes out. We're going to go ahead and get large storage boxes. The reason why I like using vaults is because large storage boxes can only hold 45 resources. But you want to turn them like this. I have them facing long ways. And then just back up a little bit and place some more. I highly recommend when you're doing this to change the colors of these storage boxes. Doing that will allow people to differentiate which box is theirs. Now, what would be ideal next to this would be a transmitter. But, like again, like I said, if you do not have a transmitter, then you can't use that. So, I will spawn in a strider just to show you how to do this with a strider. Give me just a second here while I get the uh, command code to spawn one in just to show you guys. Make sure I don't have it right next to my structure here. Oops. So we're going to spawn our strider in. It doesn't matter what kind of strider it is. <clears throat> we're going to take our strider. We're going to have it next to our base. We're going to enclose it in dino gates so it doesn't get attacked. We have our strider there. So let's go ahead, go to options, hold E on it, go to the radial menu. You want to go to behavior, you want to change to ignore group whistle, and then we're going to hop back on it. Make sure it's not following you either. And then you're going to turn on the transmitter, and I can't unlock it because I'm not in I'm in single player right now I'm not on a multiplayer server so I cannot unlock this transmitter but if you were on a multiplayer server you would be able to unlock it the next thing we're going to do is we're going to build a ramp up to said strider so let's go ahead and get started here actually let me disable ally looking Okay. So, we're gonna. Looks like we're gonna need to go up one ceiling higher than this. So this platform will need to be nine ceilings high. 
in order for it to get up to the back of that strider. Now if you wanted to, you don't have to put your storage boxes down here. If you wanted to, you could put your storage boxes up here with the strider. Let me grab a regular wall out here. Oh, snapped it the wrong way. Fix that up real quick. Place all our walls down. Oh, this one. Okay. So we got that. As you can see, we can go over to the back of the strider. Let's grab our ceilings out here. Okay. So now we can go over to the strider. We can jump back over to our platform. Super easy. Let's see if we can throw a ramp down here. That would make this even better so people didn't fall off so they could come down here access the transmitter that's on the back of the strider now what we're going to do is we're going to be building this platform out a little bit so now that you have that done you can go through here add your ceilings Whoop. add your ceilings now we can add our storage boxes probably put a little railing up around this to keep people from falling off the side of it you get the idea on that so let's place our ladder down climb up it hit K and what button number 10 number 10 is my storage boxes if you wanted to you could put your storage boxes right next to this or if you wanted to put them back here you could just depends on what you wanted to do if you wanted to add refrigerators to this as well and do a little group combo instead of having these stacked next to each other like so instead of doing something like that we could have a little group combo like I have downstairs and you could have you know a storage box A refrigerator and a cryo fridge if you wanted to go that route so we can go ahead and throw this down here I also highly recommend including some free water for people visiting your trading post it'll make it a little easier for them to survive and like I said you want it to be protected you want it to be in an area where dinos can't get to them. Nothing's worse than having people come to your base to do a trade and they get attacked and mauled to death while they're trying to do trades. I have been to plenty of bases on official where that has happened to me and nothing made me angrier. Um, also make sure you include uh, locations to your base you want to give them GPS coordinates uh, ideal spawn locations let's see that should line up ideal spawn locations and if you have a teleporter set up at your base give them the teleport locations so simple stuff like that would help people do better you know help them do transactions better complete transactions more efficiently rather let's get our gates our doors out here gates and gateways so we are just going to block this strider in this strider once we block it in it won't be able to move over this four high wall and it's protected so it's not going to get attacked by other stuff you have it set to ignore group whistle and you also want to change it to uh, instead of attack target you want it to be on passive so I did forget that step but you want to make sure you have it on passive as well and there you go your strider's not moving from in there 
it's safe in there unless uh, you're built in a place where RGs could get to it in which case you probably want to put some plant species uh, hex seeds up other than that we just have to build a way to get up to it or we could just have them land up here let them know that they needed to include or bring a flyer when they come over to your base so now that we have that done let's get back over here and show you guys how to build this so this right here will take a little bit of effort to line up make sure you have everything lined up correctly for this I'm going to go ahead and get rid of these walls right here because I need that room let's go ahead and put, put this gate back up so I'm going for the five volts one cryo fridge and two dead storage when you're placing your dead storage down just a quick tip here if you only place one dead storage it can be destroyed within 12 hours if you're on a uh, official or legacy server the timer for one dead storage to get destroyed is 12 hours so make sure you place two dead storages down and how you check that is you go up to your dead storage or any structure and you just hold the H key down um, unless you've changed the key binding for me it's H and it will show you the demolish timer since I'm in single player mine set to 80 days whether I had one up or I had a bazillion of these up but just a little helpful tip there I know I've been to plenty of trading posts where people only had one dead storage up so when we're placing this normally we would place our vault our vaults let's see if I got one in here yeah I do so normally we would be placing our vaults this direction when you place a vault this way though if you put resources in it I guess I can just throw whatever I have in my inventory in there if you put resources in this if somebody was wanting to empty this out somebody came over to your base and wanted to get like if you had let's say metal in here or a tech structure or a bunch of dino eggs or something and they wanted to get it out see how it's coming out of the back of the vault and not the front which is why I have these vaults turned around so what we're going to do is destroy this pick this stuff up what we're going to do is place our ladder down scroll or pitch our camera down a little bit pick the ladder up and now we're going to place this vault in here uh, I can go over there and look at that one for reference I'm going to do that real quick since I already have it placed just to save me some headache so that vault looks like it's right on the edge that's one, two, right on the edge of the third ceiling or foundation. So we're going to do that again. Pick this back up. Facing the wrong direction. Don't be a dingleberry like me and face the wrong direction. Okay. So we got that. So we got three foundations over. Ideally, you would want to make as little room back here as possible. I know on my other trading post I had, I had someone that actually got stuck behind the vault. And I had to destroy some of my ceilings so they could get out. So if you can avoid doing that, I would highly recommend it. Just to save yourself some trouble in the long run. So that vault is too close to this wall. So let me pick this up. And we're going to move it forward a smidgen. Pick that up. So let's try right, right there. That should do it. And now no bo uh, boxes can't fall in behind this either, which is also very helpful. So we have that placed. Next, we are going to place our crowd. 
fridges. And our dead storage. So we'll go ahead and throw the dead storage down on this side. Just like so, just like it is on that one. And now we are going to throw down our crowd fridge. Just like that. Um, if you're wanting to use electricity to power this and gasoline, you can do that. I'm in creative mode. I'm just going to spawn me in a generator, grab out a stack of element, throw it in here, power it. Um, depending on how big your trading post is, depends on the radius of your generator and the tech generator's power or element it consumes is dependent on the range of the generator unless you're using a mod to change it. Okay, so now we are going to move on to the next bit. So for this bit right here, you're not able to snap or place a ladder down. You kind of have to eyeball it and get it as close as you're comfortable with. So I am going to grab my vault Hit K, go back, try to judge where those dead storage are going to be at in comparison to this vault and that cryo fridge. Right there looks good to me. So now that I have that placed, I'm going to come up here, going to line up my dead storage. And line up the crowd fridge, just like so. And again, the reason why we're doing this, while we're placing the vaults in like this, is so when someone wants to go get the stuff out of this and they don't want to transfer it into their inventory because they'll be too heavy and they can't transfer it, they'll just popcorn it out spam the O button and it'll spew it all out on the ground and they can loot it and it'll pop out this side instead of into your wall. So this side right here is fairly easy. With this side we can go into K mode, pick this, pick our ladder up and we can place our vault down facing this direction. Keep in mind we want to make sure we can place our wall down once we've done this so we can't get this too far back. Let's see if we can place our wall in there. That's not the wall button. Nope. Let's pick that up and move it forward some. This is tedious. If you don't want it to be this OCD friendly, you don't have to. You don't have to do this. This is just me nitpicking over details unimportant details my tribe mate would say I was crazy he always wonders why it takes me so long to build stuff this right here's the reason why <laughs> so I'll probably have to move that over oh no cool I can place the dead storage in there place our dead storage in let's place the cryo fridge in just like so Let's grab our vault. Oh, I have to get rid of that wall. All right, give me just a second to place this wall back down. That way, the piece above it doesn't fall over. Actually, let me. Stupid strider. It all came crumbling down anyway. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, hit the K button. We're going back up here. Trying to line our vault up through all the rubble that I just created. So I'm going to take it back over a little bit more. Now that we have that in, 
let's see if we can place our cryo fridge and I don't think I'll be able to place the dead storage in Oh, that's pretty close. Let's go up front and see what it looks like. No, that 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 is unacceptable. <laughs> that will not work. Let's pick these up real quick. Just like so. And now we're gonna place our last vault in. left and right trying to line that up there's that let's place our cryo fridge like so and now we can place a transmitter down in the middle Go ahead and spawn another transmitter in. Now again, if you if you don't want to bother adding a strider, you don't need one. It's just helping those players that have just started who haven't done let's say the the dragon or the uh, King Dinopithecus. It's just helping those players that haven't done those bosses to have the ability to transfer out at your base and not having to go find a drop or go back to an obelisk because you guys have played Ark you know that the obelisk and those loot drops aren't the safest thing in the world whereas if you, you're in someone's base that was designed to be safe for people to come and trade that would be far easier and more convenient uh, it's just what I like to do it's not something you have to do but having transmitters is a very very nice thing to do so other than that trans other than adding those transmitters in like I said adding a refrigerator with extra food or just having like some super food and your transmitter it's uh, uh, custom food and water in your transmitters having that in there to help people out would also be a nice thing to do is it required no but it is nice to do also having the Federation exo leggings in there just to help people transfer large amounts of resources that would help if you wanted to put regular tech legs in your transmitter you could but those are a lot harder to replace if someone decides to take those than the uh, exo pants, exo leggings. Other than that, you could throw a teleporter down out here. You could have a teleporter inside your trading hall if you wanted to. Um, throwing some dinos in here or some uh, taxidermy posts in here or uh, platforms. What are they called? taxidermy bases. Throwing taxidermy bases in here of the dinos that you sell in the shop would also be helpful. It might help increase your business if people see what kind of dinos you have for sale. Another thing that would help uh, I know you guys know I said something about having the uh, areas over your vaults and stuff blocked off so people couldn't get in there. Uh, that's supposed to be turned off. I don't know why. 
Yeah, structure collisions turned on. I don't know why it's letting me build there, but it is. I'll take it. So now people won't get stuck behind your base. Let's see what it does when you throw stuff out of it like that. Like that. Yeah, still throws it out the same. Coolio. I didn't know it would let you place those there with the structure collision turned on. So you and I both learned something today. But that is how you build a trading post and tips on setting up your trading posts and protecting it. You don't have to have giant mega base trading posts with a hundred tech turrets and blah 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 this and that. Sometimes just the simplest things having a strider protected up and elevated up with a trading platform next to it is all you need. You don't have to have refrigerators and dead storages and stuff. If you don't want to have all that stuff, you don't have it. You don't have to have it. If you wanted to substitute these cryo fridges with regular refrigerators, you could do that as well. Um, doing that would allow you to sell other things like, you know, like veggie cakes and soups and all that other kinds of stuff if that's what you wanted to do. Um, store base, your trading post, this is just meant to give you some tips and tricks, um, ideas to think about, or things to think about when you're building your own, because like I've said, and I'm sure you guys have too, if you've played on official PvE or legacy PvE, there's a lot of trading posts out there that need a lot of TLC. Um, example, I went to one guy's trading post and I got murdered by Karkonos like four or five times because the guy didn't tell me that it wasn't safe and that I needed to bring a dino to protect myself. He just said, hey, put spawn at this location, teleport to this spot, and I did, and freaking Karkonos jumped out of the water onto his ocean platform and decided to myrtleize me. Uh, thankfully, I was able to get the Karkonos away to loot the stuff to pick to put the resources in to make that trade but don't be like those people have a safe trading post set up anyways that's enough rambling I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please like if you're not subscribed to the channel please subscribe thank you guys so much for watching um, if you like Ark Survival of the Fittest uh, my good buddy and I uh, my good buddy Rune and I are going to be doing uh, streams for Survival of the Fittest. So stay tuned to our Twitter channels. Or uh, Twitter channels. Oh my god. Stay tuned to our Twitch channels for when we go live. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Have a good one.